Whew. Hi guys. So the weather was uh, a little bit nasty yesterday, but today, as you can see, it's back to its normal, gorgeous, beautiful um, self. And this is the middle of January in Gran Canaria. So I don't know if you can see, I've started from way down here. There's a reservoir all the way down here. And I've come up and I'm just gonna end up going up the hill or the mountain or whatever it is that it's called. You can see all the mountains in the background. I mean, I know that I've shown you numerous <laughs> um, mountain videos, much, which must be very boring, but it never ceases to amaze me. And if anyone thinks, oh, what's going on in Gran Canaria, then, you know, at least I've shown people um, a couple of things. So I'm on a walking uh, trail that's actually in a, in a walking book. So um, it's a pretty long one. Um, and if you aren't experienced sort of walker, hill walker, it's, it can be pretty lumpy bumpy. So, you know, there's a sort of designated path, but it's really, um, there's lots of scree, there's lots of dry fern underfoot and stuff like that. So if you are um, a little bit unsteady, this wouldn't be the one for you because it's quite a steep climb as well. Um, coming up here, when I drove, it's lots of hairpins. Um, and cyclists come up here to train, Olympic cyclists, and you can see why. So all these roads, and then you get these deep hairpin um, turns, and they take a few hours to get up um, on their bike, and then they just freewheel it all the way down, and it looks incredible fun, but it's pretty dangerous if you're, um, if you're up here. Um, I'm a little bit out of breath because I climbed pretty steep, pretty fast. Um, so I'm on a par with these, these mountains over there. So the air is a little bit different. So I feel a little bit, <laughs> but if you live up in the hills, then you wouldn't get that. I live in London. So how is everyone today? Um, what does January bring you? Um, nothing new on the uh, Armchair Detective channel, clearly. It's just rehashing old rubbish and then adding more rubbish onto the rubbish. Now going after anything he can to get views, to get attention, to get money, to get people to go, oh, da -da 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 -da. a little bit like that idiot um, seeking the nastiness with um, so-and-so. Uh, all the rubbish coming out of his mouth. It's just the same old stuff rehashed. None of them have got anything new. It's like people, you know, ghost hunters and stuff like that. They find this happened and then they heard that and then they heard that, but nothing concrete, nothing is ever there. Nothing is new, nothing is ever there. And it won't be there until, until and if Nicole Kessinger, Chris Watts, somebody who does know something comes forwards. <laughs> that's a fact, that's, that's just reality. No one has found anything new in three years of surmising and studying um, the discovery and this and that, dates, times, templates, um, spreadsheets. No one has found anything new. Um, so what it is, is people's fantasy of what they think. And that's fine. People sort of making, doing channels and going, oh, I think this and that. It's kind of fun, you know, not fun for the people involved. But if it's just on the outskirts, you know, nothing wrong with discussing cases. You know, there can't be anything wrong because it's, people are going to do it. But this constant, um, this constant uh, conviction that they know something that they know it, but yet they haven't been able to prove a single thing. Um, I mean, you know, judging by AD's very indifferent theories, one car was literally on top of another car and another car and another car and a woman had sideburns and came out of a house and committed murder with a handbag um, on seeking the nastiness with boohoo. Um, a basement door opened, so it must have come from outside. So what did he do? Did he float around? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nobody knows. 
Nobody knows apart from the CBI, the FBI and the family and the people surrounding the case. They know the truth. It's a shame because it's still all just for views, you know, and I, I wonder why still the Watts case, you know, when, you know, the Petito case and by, uh, Brian Laundry still is just a bizarre situation, a bizarre one. Uh, and I'm guessing that leads have led to nowhere, nothing. Um, I guess we will never know that one. Um, but yet people still aren't as fascinated, maybe that will come into fruition, still aren't as fascinated as with this Chris Watts case. Still. And it's the same group of people, the same subs, the same type of people, all just keeping this narrative going. For what? I don't see the point. All it does is just damage the family and they've said so. If they hadn't said so, people wouldn't know, but they can't claim ignorance when a family has said, please stop saying you know certain people are involved. Please stop talking about my family in the way that you are. Not full stop, in the way that you are. So they've been told, please, by the family, please stop speaking in the manner of which you're speaking. And they can't, they won't. Oh, everyone wants us to stop talking about the Watts case. No, no one asked anyone to stop talking about the Watts case. The family didn't ask anyone to stop talking about the case. They asked people to stop talking about the case in the way that they are. But you see, for these um, drama queens, that's not good enough. They have to make an absolute drama out of that. And then they have to make out there's one side, then another. And then they have to make out the David and Goliath thing, that they are a small channel trying to get to the truth and the family, this huge conglomerate with NK, are trying to shut them down and they will fight and they need help and they need money to fight. That's all it is. All a crock of ab... Uh, I can't speak. Stutter. All a crock of absolute rubbish. Um... <sighs> anyway any sobs or anyone who is convinced that they know what happened and what happened is not what we heard what happened um and don't get me wrong i don't believe a word of what chris Watts said <laughs> i believe it's the vague narrative of the timeline but no i don't believe what he said at all um but anyone else who thinks they know they definitively know that others were involved and that it's NK and this and that and the other. Please let me know in the comments below. Tell me. Tell me about it. Don't just come on here and insult me or do stupid trolling. Tell me in an eloquent adult manner your thoughts, your theories and why you know the truth. That you know. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear from um, anyone, any of the big guys who... Uh, consider themselves to be in the know about this case. Let me know.